Well, Travis brought his wife this week, and well, today, and I've been living with Eeyore here, and he ain't cooking, so he comes in at about like right now, 10 o'clock at night, and then he leaves at three in the morning to go fishing, so I don't even see him. This is the first time that he and I have seen each other. We've been here for two days. This is, this is no lie. We've had two days practice, the first time he and I have laid eyes on each other. And we've been story. in this house, because because I, I, I came up with this is a good one. Uh, these are sokopisms. John sokopisms. You ask John, hey, what time you want to get up in the morning? Five. So the sokopism is, is that that actually means be ready to walk out the door at 4.30 a.m. If he tells you five, he's walking out that door at 4.30. So if you set your alarm for five, you get up and he's already gone. And been gone for a while, so soak up is a little bit of truth to that. There's a lot of truth to it. <laughs> we are pristine. Actually, we're in Louisiana because we're right across the border. But we're fishing in Texas, but we're sleeping in Louisiana. Uh, Orange, Texas, Sabine River. Home of crawfish, redfish, and very, very few bass. Actually, John and I learned today there's a lot of bass here. They're about the size of this keychain. <laughs> But there is a bunch of them, but they're little. I mean, little. Right, there's two different ones here. But they caught them last time, just right here. That's really where they caught them. Anyway. Um, so that's the only canal there. And then nobody caught them out of this thing. This thing. H Hackney caught them out of this one. Hackney one out of this one. Yeah, that's the one that's so full of grass right now. Right. It, it all connects together. I know, but I'm saying that this, nobody really caught him in. I buzz baited through this real quick and caught up fish. It looks pretty. So from here, this is really tons of hydrilla, but from about right here, all this, and all this right here, and all this back here, there's hydrilla. Now this is not as junky hydrilla as this. This is nice, healthy, and it's like spaced out. This is healthy? Yeah. This is junky? I hadn't made it that far yet, Travis. I'm just going to try to figure out what time to get up in the morning. I really don't know. Um, I've kind of gone all in over there, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But it's not good over there, I can tell you that. Your odds go up if you're willing to take the risk to run. At least at least on day one, if you can get a day one. big sack. Day, day one, one and especially, I mean, if you day one and followed up at least day two, and then maybe you can ride the coattails, but... It seems like this place is about the guy that can catch a big, big bag the first day and then ride that thing for three days to win. That's that's what's been happening. No coffee needed. No bad habits. Camera ready to roll, Travis? Yep. It's early. Coffee. Hey, look at this. Am I might not tell you and you made a comment about it. I said, I told Travis, Travis gave it to me. I said, he brought it for me. I said, dude, you got to be under 25 to wear a hat like this. <laughs> Freaking straight bill pulled down. But I'll sport it. I'll sport it. My name's Dale, by the way. Probably win the damn derby. <laughs> hey, did you put in a, a, a takeoff yesterday? Did you put all of that back down? I put it in a takeoff. Back to canal be okay too or not? Yeah. I wonder if that you got paid to put in there. Probably. I don't know. There's a restaurant there. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't understand that. Like you go over and over and over. What time do you want to leave? Let's get up. Get up at four thirty. We'll leave at five. No. What? 4.30. Look at that clock. He's going to set his alarm and get up at 4.30. Yeah. So I set mine at 4 because that means that he's walking out the door at 4.30. That's what that means. So the business. Derby day. Uh, day number one of Sabine River. The Sabine. And, uh, Woke up this morning thinking, you know, a couple of them places you think are so great are not that great, so. And I agree they're not. I'm gonna have to have some fortune today. 
God, this place is tough. Tough. I don't know what I'm going to do today, but it's tough. Looks like we're always the last one, doesn't it? Even if we get up at 3 in the morning, we're the last one. Everybody else is at the gas station that's left, but us. <laughs> okay, let's go. I thought it was a bass all the way till it came in the boat.
Where the school? That's why you don't give many bites. There's a fish that big right there that doesn't hit something this big very often. Had to make one that way. I just didn't know which way in you want me to go around. You didn't know if you want me that way or this way. That is for sure. It's not good. This is a little bit like Florida. of 2023. We got a bunch of anglers ready to weigh some fish. Once Lisa, we good to go, Lisa? in the crappiest area in the entire lake. And I didn't catch a fish till after 12 o'clock noon. And uh, Chad Pipkins is the only one that was with me. And he just weighed in 14 pounds. And he was with me all morning. Now, he may have caught him after 12 o'clock noon, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's, that's hard to swallow. I mean, literally, like we were side by side for a lot today. But anyway, uh, glad to have what I had. Uh, I struggled all day. I feel like I can catch some bass tomorrow. I really do, but we'll see. Day two of hell, I think. Yeah, that's where we are. Hell. Uh, I caught a 12 incher by noon yesterday out of the hole that tournament leader's in. And when I say the hole, I'm talking about a creek that's the size of this trailer house. Yeah, I had one bite. I actually left, he and I were the only ones in there all day yesterday. Uh, well, until noon. And uh, I had one 12 incher out of it, and he had 14 and a half pounds out of it. I couldn't believe no one else had came, but he had it all to himself. Anyway, uh, I told him I wouldn't be back for sure. But uh, then I sit next to the guy. I, I, I got to looking at some stuff and was wondering 
where's Hunter Shyrock? Where did he finish? Because I seen him quite a bit yesterday. I couldn't find his name. Like I looked down through 104 and then back up and back down. And I couldn't find his name because he's in second place. So. Um, been a rough one. This is more than just being snake bit. I don't know what's going on. But uh, I didn't fish the exact same stuff that uh, Chad was in yesterday. There's a couple little shoot offs to to the creek, but uh, I mean, he got in those and uh, probably got bit the mouths of them and maybe, maybe back in them a little bit. But anyway, I practiced them, never had a bite in them. Uh, maybe. Really bad. Uh, anyway, the good news is we did scrounge out. I caught two and a half pounder yesterday. I had the biggest four fish limit of the tournament, I think, yesterday. Yeah, four fish because I couldn't catch five. Um, I only had that one 12 incher at 12 noon, so I was glad to catch what I caught. But I did catch two and a half and some more. And, and I got a plan for today. I caught them all yesterday on a square building, cranking. And uh, I'm going to do some more of that today. But I know that it's not just something I can run around all over the river and get bit. Um, there's only little isolated uh, places that I'm actually getting bit, so that's the bad part. And then there's a lot of guys around me too that did not catch them very well. So um, I'm just going to have to put my head down and just keep chunking and winding and hope that I get. I'm going to need another two and a half pound, three pound bite to to be able to overcome the hole that I put myself in. But if I can catch five and I can get fortunate to get one good bite, I think we'll make Saturday. And I think that that's a very good possibility that that happens. It's gonna be a struggle, but I've got like a nine and a half hour long day and we're gonna go after it and see what happens. Snake bit is not even the word. Dude, we're like six derbies in. This is terrible. Never, never dreamed it would be like this. And uh, here we are, coffee. 4.30 in the morning. By God, we're still grounded. I guess this is grounded. This isn't even grinding. We got a flat tire. We're running on the rims right now. Sparks and shit flying everywhere. <laughs> Timber. 
Did it just come off right there? Like she was starving to death. Thank you, Lord. I thought it was bigger than that. I thought it was a four pounder.
January, two-time Elite Series qualifier, two-time FLW Tour winner from Oklahoma, Bradley Holman. Five-nine yesterday, four this year today. Four fish here on day number two, Bradley Hallman. Five pounds, four ounces, gives him 10, 13, goes in the 39th place currently, and uh, this is a tough one, but get a little month and a half of uh, time away from the Elite Series, and then uh, three big stops to finish the season. Yeah, you're yeah. working with your house, right? Yeah, <laughs> where the air conditioning is always on, always on. Hey, thank you everybody for coming out. Great area, man. It's just a lot of fun being here. I love running the river. Good uh, time. This is probably going to hang around for uh, Randy Roberts. So you going to be there? I'll be here. All right. Let's do it. All right. Love having you here at the Elite Series. We'll see you more Randy Roberts. We suck. I think I got 10. Let's see what I got. It's going to take 13 something to get fish tomorrow and I've got 10 13 so it's gonna be like two pounds and something uh, almost three pounds uh, and I only weighed four both days but I had opportunities today you'll see it on the video uh, man at one point I had uh, I had seven keepers that I had hooked up and I had two fish in my boat. So that hadn't been my problem this year. My problem's been I hadn't been getting bit. But today was a little bit different. But I was shaky heading and spinning a rod and fishing around here close to takeoff. And so you're gonna get some bites, but um, man, I had one break me off. I had one good two, two and a half pounder just it's it's probably the best one to watch. It kills me when it comes off. I think I hit the floor, but I don't know. I'm not even, I'm not even uh, depleted like what I have been after the last few tournaments. It's almost like you kind of get numb to it. But I don't know, man. It's to the point that it's just ridiculous. What's up, baby? I know I can fish better than this, but hell, I'm doing everything I know to do. And it ain't working. I started yesterday morning in a creek, and then in an, inside that creek's another little ditch, and it's got a little canal on each side. Well, me and the tournament leader were in there. I caught one 12 incher and he caught 14 pounds. So, I don't know. That's, that's how it's been going for me. I definitely am a little bit snake bit. Definitely not doing some stuff right. But I didn't find them here. I mean, practice was terrible. I spent two days off in the niches trying to find something, couldn't find it. So, I came over here the last day of practice. Nah, I didn't catch them that good here either. But at least here, I get to maximize my entire day and fish all day long. But. Uh, I enjoyed this place. I like it. I like the fact that it's a struggle for everybody. I really thought when I got up this morning that I'd catch eight pounds, nine pounds, maybe even ten if I got lucky and caught one of those unicorns. The unicorn being a four pounder, it is a unicorn. But uh, I don't know. Let's go to the house. Um, I'm not that disappointed. Part of it. <laughs>